Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says a father and a 12 year old boy were killed by the man's 22 year old son. The mother was also shot but was able to get away to call for help. It happened in Jacksonville's Duclay neighborhood. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says they were called to Preston Pines Trail for reports of multiple people being shot around 430 this afternoon. That's where Zach Wilcox joins us live and Zach, you're hearing from neighbors in the area who are now concerned for safety, but police do say this was a domestic incident. Yeah, Riley, when police got to the scene, the uh, under sheriff told us they were able to talk to the mother in the household and she told them, giving them a little bit of insight into how all this started. She mentioned that the father and son were arguing about the son's use of racial slurs and things escalated when the son grabbed a couple of guns and started shooting. So people in this neighborhood and all of the neighborhoods around here around towns and have had to come to terms with all of this happening on Easter of all days. Easter, you know, is to be in peace and family. Not to have that. Charlene Ortiz says she moved to Jacksonville from Puerto Rico 15 years ago. One of the main reasons, safety for her family. After seeing police lights fill up Townsend Road on Easter, she's wondering if they're really that much safer. You can drive anybody. Well, I got seven keys. So anybody can pass around here. The bullet know her name. When the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office got to Preston Pines, they found a woman with several gunshot wounds. She was able to tell them that one of her adult sons was in the house uh, shooting family members. When police got in the house, they found three people dead, a 45-year-old, 22-year-old, and 12-year-old. They also found two teenage boys hiding and took them to safety. Under Sheriff Sean Corsi says the situation started when the biracial 22-year-old started using racial slurs, which his white father didn't like. During the argument, Corsi says the son went upstairs, put on a tack vest, mask, and gloves, grabbed a long gun and a handgun, and started shooting, killing his father, brother, and ultimately, it appears, himself. The family gave some history of some possible mental health issues. Uh, JSO has not had any mental health issue contacts with him, but the family said that he has had some. Police spent hours with the scene taped off and detectives coming in and out, a scene neighbors are shocked to see on Easter. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It's shattering for me. It gives me anxiety. This is this is one of those days that you think to yourself, like, it never happened, that this could never happen. According to the undersheriff, the woman did survive her gunshot wounds, and we got that update around 7.30 this afternoon that she was in surgery at the time. And the two teenagers who were hiding in the house, they weren't physically hurt, but obviously went through a lot of emotional trauma today. On the west side, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.